We hear a lot about dissection. Uh, dissection sounds like the vessel's been cut, but that's not really the story. In actual fact, what it means is that the vessel's been affected on the inside, on the endothelium, and the blood starts to channel down between the layers of the, the, the vessel. And as you can see, that, that picture on the slide shows a really healthy looking vessel. And we know that this can occur in very, very healthy vessels due to external traumas, usually blunt traumas, okay? Uh, and as I've explained earlier, we know that can happen at any stage across the uh, pathological spectrum. Here's a very, very unfortunate example of a dissection to a vessel. This was the uh, unfortunate cricketer, uh, Australian cricketer Philip Hughes, who suffered a dissection of a healthy vertebral artery. So this was a vertebral artery dissection. That's another acronym, VAD. Um, and unfortunately, the dissection uh, or the blood tracked up the vessel and then exited up in the brain as a subarachnoid hemorrhage. Um, and this was uh, an unfortunate event that uh, Philip Hughes didn't survive, so this led to his ultimate death, unfortunately. Very, very rare cases. We mustn't go around thinking that this is the sort of people we'll see in front of us, but we do know that this can happen. It was an actual case, uh, and there are many more like it that we're uh, familiar with in the literature. But that I will say this once and I'll say it many times more, they are very, very rare, okay.